And right now, the family of a seven year old boy who died in state custody has questions about exactly what happened behind closed doors. According to the coroner, JC on Terry died in July under the care of Brooklawn. That's a foster care facility. The cause of death was positional asphyxia and the coroner deemed it a homicide. WHAS Loveland's Ford Sanders talked to the family today. Ford, what have we learned about that little boy? Yeah, well, after two months, family members of JC on Terry are now starting to get answers about his cause of death. They say from the beginning, they felt this couldn't have been an accident. A facility meant to help and care for foster children now becoming a family's worst nightmare. I went through my head of this. How did it happen? And why did it happen? JC on Terry and his siblings were placed into foster care after his mother said she was going through financial problems and other circumstances. She says she was unaware her child had arrived to Brooklawn. I didn't know why he was in the facility at the time. I thought that he was still with his brothers. But once they told me that he was in a facility to get his mind together, that kind of blew my mind. JC on died on July 17th. His family saying the cause wasn't told to them at the time. He let me know that Jay Sean passed away on a Sunday. He, he said there was an incident that happened. But she couldn't tell me what happened, nothing like that, so. Brooklawn, the facility JC on was being seen at, says in part in a statement they are making changes, such as releasing the two staff members involved, increasing training, better leadership and oversight, and increased screening of youth before admission. Definitely not enough. Retraining the staff, they should have been trained in the first place. They shouldn't have had the job if they couldn't enough care for a child that's seven years old. Officials with the Cabinet for Health and Family Services say they mourn the loss of anyone in their care. Now taking action. Brooklawn is owned by a company called Uspiritus, which the Cabinet says is freezing its relationship with, saying in part, placements at Uspiritus and all programs have been suspended for placement of children in the care of the state. I don't think that that place should be open for kids in the first place after all of this stuff happened to my son. For Jason's mother, Dominique, she says although he wasn't in her care at the time, this is still her son. Just taking it every day at one step at a time. Both Jason's mother and grandfather say they will work hard to always remember the boy who is full of love and life. And Ford, we've got a lot of questions today about the manner of death. The coroner said it was a homicide. Have you talked to police? Do they have any plans to file charges in this case? Yeah, Shay, officials with the department tell me this is still an ongoing investigation, saying once they gather all of the facts of the death, they're going to present this to the Commonwealth Attorney's Office to decide how to proceed. In the newsroom, Ford Sanders, WHAS 11, on your side.